So in this video, we're gonna rig this door to an armature and then use a control to control the door opening. Isn't that right? Yup. Ah, 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 ah. So this here is our door. Let's go ahead and create our armature. I'm gonna press Shift S, cursor build origin, just so our cursor's in there. Shift A, let's go armature, single bone. And now obviously we can't see our bone, but if we come into the object properties, viewport display in front, we can now see our bone. So from here, I'm gonna press tab to go into edit mode, press A and I can select my bone and move it wherever I want. However, I wanna start positioning it. Now I know at this point, I want the first rotation point to be up the top here. So I'm going to edit mode on the mesh. Let's select the line here, shift S cursor to selected. Let's go ahead and find our bone. Ugh. There it is. Tab, I'm gonna select the base of the bone, Shift S, selection to cursor. And then I know this is gonna be the next rotation point. So if I just go in there, Shift left click, cursor to selected. Let's grab our bone, Shift S, selection to cursor. And then this is gonna be our bone down here to our center point. Well, actually no, we can just go E to the Z and just move that straight down. Now we wanna do the same thing, but on the other side, so let's go Shift A, I'm just gonna add in a brand new bone. G, move that off to the side. Let's select our base here. Shift S, cursor to selected. You get the point. Shift S, selection to cursor. Grab this edge, not that edge. Shift S, cursor to selected. Pick our armature once again. Shift S, selection to cursor. E to extrude, Z. There we go. So we've got what our armature is gonna look like. Now the next bit is we need to parent our object to our armature and then start assigning the meshes to the bone. First things first, it's always recommended to rename your bones because if we parent it now, the vertex group will be whatever the bones are called now. So if we go ahead and rename the bones, everything breaks. So with the bones selected, I'm not gonna click here armature. Well, I mean, we can go this uh, ship door, but let's come down into the bones section and only go upper dot one, user can be upper dot two, user can be lower dot one, and you can be lower dot two. So we've kind of got a hierarchy here of one, two, one, two, and if there was another one, we could go one, two, three. Now into object mode, let's select our mesh, shift left click on the armature, control P to parent, and I want armature to form with empty groups. So now when we click on our object, come over here into the vertex data, we can see we've got our vertex groups of the bones. Now tab into edit mode. I'm just gonna go into wireframe so I can see everything I'm selecting. So let's go ahead and grab all these things. Control L to select everything that's linked. Upper one, assign. And now I'm gonna hide those bones, because those, uh, sorry, that mesh, because that mesh is assigned to something, and obviously I don't wanna assign it to anything else right now. Here, let's do the same. I'm gonna select those top vertices, Control L to select everything that's linked. Upper, assign, hide, and down below. Let's go C for selection, Control L. Uh, you are gonna be lower one, hide, and then everything else is gonna be assigned to. There we go, so let's go Alt-H, unhide everything, back into solid mode, into our bones, let's go pose mode, and now if I rotate on the Y axis, you can see that we have control of our doors. Sick. Now let's move into animating the doors. From here, I'm just gonna go into numpad one, so I come into the side view, and I'm gonna start off at frame 10. I'm gonna select everything with I, with A, sorry, I'm gonna press I to set a keyframe and I wanna set the rotation. Now let's move forward, probably like 120 odd frames. I'm doing this on the fly. I'm going to rotate this door up a little bit. I wanna rotate this door so it's open. Actually, we could probably even go a little bit more. This one here is gonna come down and it's gonna be almost like a ramp. So something like that, that looks pretty good to me. With selecting all the bones, with A, I'm gonna press I and then set rotation. So now you can see that we've animated. 
Nice. Now it's going to move that up. Now we can do something a little bit fancy. We see that it's very boring and it's very methodical on how it opens. I'm just going to change that keyframe. What I want to do first is I want these doors to open first ever so slightly and then these upper ones open. So let's select these two bones here and I'm going to select this lot of keyframes and we'll move it forward by five. And now when we press play, you see that we have that slight door open. I am just going to now hide the armature because we can still see it while we're working here. But you can see how we've got that delay and then it opens and it kind of stops a little bit boring. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to grab all the bones and I'm going to grab this last block of keyframes, shift D and let's move it an extra 20 degrees. What I want to do now is I kind of want it to go past the point and then kind of stop. So what we can do is I could probably select everything, go T and go back and this will automatically give us our back like that. Not exactly what I want because here it just kind of comes out too fast. I want that gradual slow move out, go past and then come back. So at this point here, let's now just kind of go with each bone. I'm just going to rotate ever so slightly, rotate Y, and then we'll do the same here. Rotate Y, rotate Y. And with all the bones selected, I'm going to press I and set the rotation keyframe. Now, if you don't want to keep pressing the insert keyframe, we can always just press the record button. And from now on, it'll just save every keyframe that we have. So now what we what have we got? You can see that we've got kind of got that little bounce back. If we want that a little bit more gentle, let's just move it out. There we go. Lovely. Push that out a bit. Nice. And I mean, obviously we could very much change this as well. You know, we could pick that this goes up a lot higher first. So we would have, uh, that's, a, that's actually not too bad. <laughs> All right, let's keep that. Now let's look into setting up a control so we can animate this door just by moving something up and down. So from here, what I'm going to do is change it from the timeline to the dope sheet. We're going to change dope sheet to action editor and then ship door action. Yes, that's what we'll call it. What I am going to do is press the shield and that's going to make it as a fake user. And so that means we're not going to lose this action or this animation when we close and save the blend file. From here, I'm going to close the animation. Alt R, or actually select everything, Alt R to reset the rotation. Make sure we get rid of any keyframes. I'm going to go back into object mode. Let's go Shift A. I'm going to add in an empty and just cube. Let's see what level it's on. It's currently on Z minus one. I'm just going to make that zero and it's just going to make our life a little bit easier. And I am going to turn off automatic keyframing now because uh, it's stuffing me up a little bit. So we know that the cube is sitting on Z zero. I'm going to select the armature and we'll come into pose mode. Uh, I've got one of the bones selected. We're not going to select the object constraint. We want to look at the bone constraint. From here, add bone constraint and we're going to put in action. So our target is going to be this empty. Our channel is the Z location. So we're going to be looking at the Z location. For now, I'm looking at the world space. Obviously, the ship isn't moving and this empty isn't parented to anything. But obviously, if this ship was moving, we'd want to parent that object to the ship so it moves along with the ship and then we'll probably change it to local space. But our range is from zero to five. So when I go into object mode and have my cube selected GZ, I'm expecting when the cube's up here, the door to be fully opened. So back into the armature, let's go pose mode. Uh, the action we want to play is ship door action. And the frame start was zero. And then I think the frame finish was 160. I'm just going to set it to 180. Okay. Back into object mode. From here, we can go GZ. And as we open the door, only one bone opens because I'm a donkey. Back into here, select pose mode, select all the bones with A. Come into this drop down, copy to selected. Now we go back into object mode, GZ. And there we go. So now we can. It's, a, it's breaking. It's breaking. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. 
like and subscribe. <laughs>